More nurses are ready to help fill vacant positions here in the islands. About 50 nursing students graduated from Chaminade University this morning. But as KITV 4's Shanila Kabir reports, there are more than a thousand vacant nursing positions throughout the state. This class that just graduated would definitely help with the shortage and um, help with the hospital needs. Graduate nurses from Chaminade University say they're going into maternity care, ICU, medical surgeries, and more. Several of them told KITV4 working at the hospital showed them the critical need here. Like Ainsley Sugrim said she'll be an OBGYN nurse to help soon-to-be mothers who need more care. You could like hemorrhage, the baby can be in like the wrong position. It's Nurses make a difference because they have to be able to identify these signs before the complications get too severe. The dean of the nursing school says they're committed to tackling the state nursing shortage by extending their program and taking in more students. Dr. Haley hopes they can double in size sometime soon. How many students we admit is determined by the ability of clinical placements and our hospital clinical partners in particular are working hard to make more placements for us. They're wonderful partners and so we really could be larger and uh, we will be in the future. 459 nursing students are currently enrolled. 49 students graduated this semester and another 50 are expected to graduate in May. Majority of these graduates are from Hawaii and some already have a job lined up here. My family is actually from Hilo side so I think one day dreaming of working there and expanding there too would be such an amazing opportunity. Um, but I think for right now I want to stay home. 1,000 nursing positions are open here in the islands, but state data shows the demand is expected to grow by more than 100 positions each year. Nursing school officials at Chaminade University and other campuses are taking in and graduating nursing students to continue fighting this issue. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.